Buzz girls, how you doing? So today we're gonna do another pick. I'm fighting with the card right now. <laughs> what a start, Axel. What a start. Okay, so today pick a card is gonna be what? Uh, what? <laughs> what is stopping them? <sighs> right. Okay. So that could be interesting. That could be triggering. Mm -hmm. So let's stay cool again. It's just tarot. Stay cool. Okay. So let's go to Pam before I embarrass myself even more. <laughs> okay. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Pound number one, what is stopping them? Page of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Hermit. Well, well, well. The thing is, they are in a moment of reflection. They don't stand by. Once upon a time. Okay, no, seriously. They need to back off. They need to be in the cave for a moment for introspection, shadow work. Just, just stop for a moment. Just have a moment. And they need to go through that phase. It's no uh, point trying to, you know, find them in the cave and extract them from the cave. They're in a the cave for a reason. They need to back off. And sometimes as well, is uh, if you feel like, for example, animals, when they're wounded, they go and hide somewhere until they get better, stronger, because they know otherwise they will be eaten in nature. They need to back off and, you know, clean their wounds and heal. So... Let's take cool. Uh, it's true. At the moment, what they're trying to do is to open at the level of the heart. That means that they have to remove any uh, distraction, any fake excuses, or why they're staying where they are, or what they're not doing, what they think they should be doing, blah, blah, blah. They need to drop something, let go of something. They have to leave something behind in order to elevate themselves to the truth because this is all about opening the cups very very powerful work it's not something you do lightly at the moment there's a lot of introspection very much going on and what they're definitely trying to do is opening at the level of the heart as we were saying it's all about the cups it can also be preparing an apology maybe they need to back off and appreciate that they may have hurt you by not doing anything, by doing the wrong thing, by saying the wrong thing, you know, whatever. But maybe as well, they just want to open up to their own light. I've been lying to myself. Almost that like they have to apologize to themselves in some ways. <laughs> yeah, I apologize to myself. <laughs> no, but because <laughs> they kept themselves in the dark. And they have to remove that layer that is not necessary anymore. It's like an old skin you need to get rid of. Get naked. <laughs> I know sorry yes because <laughs> I can't stay serious for too long you know me right okay so but I'm saying things that can make sense sometimes you know so the point is they becoming very solid they know their own identity now they know where they stand they know they grounded the king of pentacle is not some fluffy little thing they're very much focused on the money and maybe that's what they were doing all that time. They were just, you know, taking care of the money and make sure that nothing was shaking the boat. The King of Pentacles doesn't have a lot of crazy, passionate action. No, he's more like, you know, plum plum. <laughs> but counting the money, plum plum, that's what we're doing here, right? But it's someone as well who wants to be with one person only doesn't play, he doesn't fluff around, or she doesn't fluff around, there's no gender, it's an energy, okay? So, what they're doing here, and what is stopping them, is that maybe they were too focused on the money, maybe they needed to actually realize, am I hiding behind my money, and not doing the deeper work, and opening the heart? Sometimes when we focus a lot on money and work, it's because we don't want to, we don't want to go too, too close, too deep, too, too much within, okay? Fair enough. They have regret. So maybe that weight of the regret, and that's why there's the possibility of them apologizing to you. The weight of the regret, the guilt, that's what it is. Guilt, regret. It's maybe make them a bit paralyzed at the moment. They need to realize, oh my God, what did I just do? Or what I've been lying to myself all those years. What? You know, realizing that they had a the potential, they didn't take it. And now they're trying to fix it. They're quite motivated to fix it though, but they have to choose between the stability, counting the money, staying in a relationship because it means, you know, not shaking the boat or going for it. Yeah, they're dropping something. There's no absolutely no doubt. So 
What's stopping them is that they're in transition at the moment to drop something too heavy and to refocus on themselves, their truth, and their feeling and their heart. So they're in process of doing the work. Beautiful. Because after the Ten of Wands, you have the Ace of Wands, so they have that fire. So there's no plan plan anymore. It's like boom, right there. So the one who don't know about plan plan is you watch all the videos. Some <laughs> You will know the whole history of plan plan, right? <laughs> plan number two. We're stopping them. Ten of Sword, the year of fan. Knight of Pentacle, Holy Mother of God, right? It's been a long process. Holy Mother of God, you know, we, we're really almost going backward here. Not very fast. That is for sure is a turtle. Blimey, me, right? Very strategic, very focused on the money. People, not just money in life, hey? Come on. <clears throat> Anyhow, <laughs> yeah, because they now they are guided by the power upstairs, if you see what I mean. Uh, it is destiny. They're supposed to increase their knowledge and have a little bit more, you know, depth and wisdom. They have to learn because uh, <laughs> they have to find a reason why they went through so much, so much. Ten sword in your back. So you get the message, you get the memo. Holy Mother of God. I know sometimes we want to make things work. We don't want to give up on somebody or on something. We don't want to give up on a dream, on a marriage. On Listen, I got the t-shirt, right? But sometimes you just have to see things for what they are. Doesn't work, period, okay? So it's difficult to let go. It's very hard. I absolutely understand that. But at some point, how many sword are you going to have in your heart, in your back? How many times are you going to be betrayed, lied to, or lied to yourself before you see the clarity? Because after the Ten of Swords, we have an Ace of Swords. You see exactly what it is. You know what you want, you know what you don't want. But what price? At what price? So, you're gaining knowledge. And maybe you need to go through so much pain to increase your knowledge. It's true. You do not learn when you're having the time of your life. No, you learn when you're hurting because you're trying to make sense of that pain and you need to look within and in depth, in depth in order to understand how you can fix this because you don't want to hurt any longer. Fair enough. So what's stopping them is they are going through that learning curve. <coughs> Excuse me, George is here. Hello, George. Yeah, because they were... <laughs> They were lying to themselves like you don't even want to know, right? Um, you know, putting everything under the carpet, put the head in the sand. How much longer can we do that? And also, uh, as a result, maybe trying to be uh, almost indecent with other people, you know, having sex for whatever reason, just like this, not meaning anything, um, but not facing their own truth. Sex is not the answer to everything. I'm sorry. And money neither, right? So do your homework and then we can talk. Mm -mm, right? Very immature. And as a result, you were covering your heart. That comes a lot at the moment. You know, there is a lot of love available, but you know what? In the, with the right term and condition, you're not going to open your heart for some losers. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Someone who doesn't face their own reality, please go home, right? Ain't going to happen. <laughs> I know. Well, Nine of Wands, well, of course, there was a lot of passion, a lot of, oof, you know, but a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Because people who don't want to see the truth, let me tell you something. Life is going to bring you even more truth. You don't want to be, you know, get it. You don't want to understand. Life is going to slap your face more and more until you get it. Boom. Because the way things have to be done has to be equal give and take. You have to be fair to people. You have, you know, moments when you don't know where you stand and you might hurt somebody because you don't know where you are. But when you know, then you have no excuse. You have to do your homework. Otherwise, mm -mm, don't even go there. So it's about receiving as much as giving. Maybe they realize that their life, they've been giving, 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 not receiving anything. Maybe they have been taking a lot, but not giving as well. You know, it has to be both sides. So whatever, you know, uh, scenario works for you, you many people watching, you know, it's, it's a general reading at the end of the day. The balance has to be fine. Balancing the scales is absolutely necessary. And it's about love. Because the truth is self-love is love. Loving each other and loving yourself. That is the only truth you have in this world, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got that? Okay, so it's a choice maybe to make between two. 
It's recognizing the soulmate. Yeah, absolutely. And boom, bada boom, we have an empress here. So they should know, you know, um, who you are. They should have <laughs> received the memo by now. If they don't handle you, it's because maybe they know your emperor. Let's be, let's be really clear here. Don't try to fit in a pair of shoes that doesn't suit you. If it's not the right size, take a new pair of shoes, period. Don't waste your time. You are an emperor, male, female, doesn't matter. You deserve an emperor. You cannot be with that one. I mean, hello? No, can't work. Mm -hmm. So yes, they're going to rush towards you. Uh, is it going to be too late? Maybe not. If they're rushing, that means that they're in the position of the emperor. I know what I want and I want you and I come and get you. Okay, now we're talking. We're going for victory here. So at the moment, what is stopping them and they're still processing, they're still learning, they're still, and I think it's, it's kind of the vibe at the moment. A lot of people are trying to do things differently. The way it was, it was happening was not working and they realize that and now they're looking at a different way. Maybe there's not one solution. Maybe there's a piece, different pieces of the puzzle to put together and that is your solution, okay? So there's no magic pills and hiding between, uh, behind money, this mosquito, <laughs> money or power or, you know, or sex that is not gonna make your truth more real. So let's wake up people, right? Okay, on this note, have a beautiful day and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Ciao.